Um, they give you a little deviation table in the book. Um, but most bigger vessels, you're going to be handed a deviation table with your boat when you buy it. Because somebody has spun that compass and figured it out. And for every direction that the boat heads, that needle is, is pulled off in a different, it's deviated in a different way based on its relationship to the metal in the boat. You know, most boats, they, they're, they're going to have, you know, some of them are going to have little binnacle balls on the side to, to adjust for that. Okay? But they're still going to have some magnetic pull for that, for that needle on your compass to go off, to deviate from where it belongs. So they give you a table, and it's only going to be a couple of degrees. Some of the problems you're going to see, the deviation is going to be massive. It's just for exercise. In the real world, the deviation shouldn't be very great, a couple of degrees either way. Okay? You know, stereos, uh, electronic stuff, the metal that the boat's made out of, uh, the wiring... The, the, gyros play havoc with the magnetic compasses. Yeah, gyros will mess up your magnetic compass if you have a gyro compass on board bigger boats. Um, you know, we're not going to worry too much about gyro. Gyro is in your book. Uh, I'll talk about that a little later. But gyro compass is a special compass unto itself, and it doesn't play with any mag any variation or deviations. Okay. Any questions? You good?